Now, for some reason, isn't there supposed to be obsidian there? Where are we gonna get diamonds from? Where do we get diamonds, ladies and gentlemen? We have a very, very long adventure with Minecraft, but everything is circle. <laughs> So you can turn on all notifications and never miss another video. One block when squares become circles. This is what you get. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, my body force is not even connected. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. But everything is circle blocks and we're back with episode number two. And today I want to take on that sand. I, you know what? We're, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go right, for it right now, bro. Because I was trying to get myself a brand new island. So we do the glass in our house over here. We've been working on a really cool design. We're trying to do a three four design. That's going to be the living quarters that's gonna be the storage room aka the basement and then we have the top floor which is gonna be of course the tree farm and then whenever we get animals and stuff we'll, we'll either keep them downstairs or we'll expand somewhere else but ladies and gentlemen on today's video i want to go to a few more islands unlock some more secrets get some new materials to make our house look beautiful and keep on continuing our crazy journey in minecraft but everything in circles also i got a surprise since we are moose 100 that we always keep it 100 I decided why not get a hundred logo on the side of my head. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it guys So that way we can always keep it a hundred. Let me know what you guys think about the haircut. We just got it So this is actually a colored pencil so it, it just comes off whenever you wash your hair It's not a tattoo. I know it's not a tattoo. Don't worry. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I, I like it. It's pretty cool, especially for Halloween. Awesome. We are almost there now Let's just be very careful not to break this whole entire thing because there is sandstone on the bottom. So MLG, let's go. Oh, I was still <laughs> got too confident. So what do we have in here? There's a bone block. Why exactly is there a bone block? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it's a chest. Hey, there we go. Let's get as much sand possible, ladies and gentlemen. We need tons and tons of sand. So we have ice. That means we can make a double. Wait, what's this? Question mark. Wait, what? Negative 150, 50, 150. Wait, negative 150, 50, 150. I'm so confused. Positive 150, 50, negative 150. Wait, what? Yo, who's writing these books here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is getting pretty spooky in here. Okay. Hey, at least we have a bunch of different saplings now, which is very good. So that means, what is that? It's a button. We're there. And it's telling me to go to negative 150, 50, which is, I, I'm not sure how far that is. Is it on the opposite side? Yo, this is getting spooky, guys. There are secret coded messages being sent to me. And I'm not sure who's, who's even sending them, dude. The guy goes by the name of Ricky Killer 99 and Will Four. That's the same guys from that temple over there that told me to uh, not break the cobblestone and stuff. And next thing you know, no matter what I did, it's still, you know, broke. Well, we're doing some good so far. We have over, I think, like a stack and a half of sand. sand? Yeah, that's very good. So that way we can use all of the sand for our special expertise, which is going to be making glass. I, I, I need some glass, dude. I got to, you know, I got to make it look cool, bro. My house has to have, you know, windows and stuff. So let's do it. Though. Let's get, let's get some glass real quick. Now for a little spawner over here, we can make an infinite water source, I believe. So let's go ahead and expand out this way. We'll keep that block here. Oh, wait a minute. This is my base. Oh, I can't expand out this way. I got to expand out this way. Wait, no, I Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't think this through at all. Okay, how about this? What if I switch spots? First things first, let's go upstairs. Let's drop off our sand so we can smelt. Perfect. 14 charcoal. Let's do... Let's just do about, I'd say, 27 pieces of sand. That should be pretty good. All right, next step is we need buckets. So we got one bucket. Second bucket is downstairs. Perfect. So we're just going to go breaking this. So we break this. We break this this okay and the water goes on both sides like so now we keep this for the lava of course lava goes here and same goes for this side just like this okay so that creates a double cobblestone generator that was it faster honestly not not so much wait what am i doing i don't have two lava buckets i got two ice buckets wait not ice buckets i have two pieces of ice <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least we have an infinite water source, but I know for a fact in the future, we are going to be getting a cobblestone generator, like at least two of them. So once the time comes for that, we'll make it happen. Okay, well, we'll make this into the ultimate cobblestone generator. But for now, unfortunately, we don't have that, which kind of sucks. But like I said, I have a feeling that we're going to get another piece of lava very soon. Also, we are able to buy things from the shops, which we haven't found just yet. So we have a long way to go. Like I said, we have 
a very, very long adventure in Minecraft, but everything is circles. The last season was about almost 10 episodes, which was like four weeks, so videos, which is crazy. That was insane. That was the longest series I've done in a while. And just like that, we got ourselves six pieces of ladder, and of course... Break this. Oh, there we go. Much better. Yeah, break this. All right, so now we're on the second floor. We're going to be adding glass in here. Now for our crops, I think we got to start building somewhere else. We can't really build on top of the trees. So for the crops, we could do it in the basement, but there's not really any light in there. So we can just expand out this way instead. So we'll just go this way. We'll make a crop farm. Uh, just a regular farm this way, right here. Okay, so let's do... We'll do an extension. So look like a cool extension, okay? So I did put stairs here, which is kind of weird, but it should be fine. A whole nother platform separated by three blocks, but still connected around, okay? This is going to be where the... Where we'll do all the farming. And then on the opposite side is where all the mob farm is going to be. So one, two, three... Just like that. Let's expand out. All right, got it. Nice. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's going to be done. We'll start doing all of the farming on this side. Let's make a small little layer. Potatoes, carrots, wheat, beetroot, pumpkins, or melons. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly how we're going to do it. Now, all we got to simply do is put down the dirt here in the middle, and then there's going to be water on the sides. Perfect. Let's go. There we go. And it's done. So there we go. That's going to be the crop farm or the, just the basic farm that we're making. Now, let's also do one more thing and create an infinite water source. So we're going to put one water block here. Okay, so we'll also dig down. I also want to make a nice design here as well. So let's just go ahead and make some space for windows, of course. I don't want it to feel like a bunker, you know what I mean? But we do want to have like our own little entry on each floor. So we can go in from this floor or the other floor or vice versa. And perfect. There we go. So that's going to make us have infinite water source on the second floor so we can make sure all the crops are ready to go and they're, uh, you know, they're, they're growing and stuff and making us food because I got no food, man. We have legit no food. So every single time I want to like restore my hunger, I got to jump off the cliff. Who wants to be jumping off a cliff 24-7? Hey, nobody wants to jump off a cliff, right? No, of course not, dude. Come on, man. Look at that. Awesome. Now, the only thing I can really crop, 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 what? Crop? The only thing I can really farm is honestly just, um, well, well, sand. Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. <laughs> kind of have an idea, though. Just temporarily. Oh, that's not it. Something like this. And then right in the middle and close us off. And then here we can do sand and then start growing like sugar canes or anything we want. So, for example, let's just do for now cactus. We'll just do cactus on each and we'll let it grow. All right, so look at this cactus. It looks beautiful. <laughs> the cactus looks amazing. Now, as for the trees, I'm going to chop them down. I'm going to put down... I'm going to put down the brand new tree farm as well. All right, it's done. Check it out, guys. Look at this. It's awesome. All right, so there we go. Just a really basic platform. We're not going to complete it just yet. Maybe in another future. Oh, but what just happened? I just flew away. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the future episode we'll complete it. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking. Moose Army, do we go to a new island? I, I could, I, we can go check out the end now. It's, it's pretty cool. But I want to see this island in the future. Now, for some reason, isn't this supposed to be obsidian there? There's also this section on the opposite side. And this is like the emergency like area where you, which you can go to. For example, use these only in case of extreme necessity. So if we ever need any of these kind of blocks, we can just go here and get them. But that's just kind of what it is. So anyways... We need diamonds, bro. Where do we get diamonds? <laughs> Where do we get diamonds from? Legit. Oh my gosh, there's so many apples. There you go. We'll do an acacia tree. We can do also, I guess we'll try, we'll try spruce over on this side. And then we'll do one jungle tree over here. And we'll just do one dark oak right over here. I think that might work. So we have a total of, let's well, actually every single, yeah, it's every sapling. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So that'll be every single sapling. I'll even put down a chest in this corner in case we ever need it for extra things. So this is going to be like our backup chest for, for example, tree stuff. Yeah, all the saplings we'll just put in here. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. And whenever we got to go farming, we'll put down a chest over here as well. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put like right in the ground. All right, cool. So that's going to be our farming materials. So that should be it for now. So that thing said negative 150. Now to take a pretty good guess, that is going to be negative 150 and that is going to be positive 150. 
So what this person over here is saying, I can either go here or go there. Now we also have previous notes from the same creators. As you can tell here, and Ricky Killer 99 says, listen to me, you have to find the small labor net in a wood pressure plate which opens a secret room. I recommend you to break some blocks to make it easier, this, this task. So Ricky Killer was not trusty at all that episode, okay? So Ricky Killer was the one that told us to break the blocks which turned out to be infested cobblestone. So he could have gotten us killed. But, plot twist, I'm Will Farr, you have to find the small labor net and water pressure plate which will open a secret room. Be honest and don't break any blocks. Examine every corner. Now, Will Farr was right. He's the good guy. He, he looks like the good guy, okay? So, Will Farr is also telling me to go to 150 this way. And the other guy is telling me to go the other way. So, I think I'm going to take Will Farr's advice. But the issue is, whenever I did examine closely and just accidentally tapped the pressure plate, which opened up the secret entrance to the end island, that is when all these crazy, um... Silverfish attacked me. So even though both of them were saying something, they were both wrong. <laughs> both uh, each way, either way, I got killed by Silverfish. That's about it. All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and finish this off, and let's see what the end island contains. Now this is supposed to be the island towards the end portal. Yeah, that's the end portal. Okay, cool. So, ooh, potato. <gasps> yes, potatoes, carrots, and beetroot. Thank you so much, bro. Now there has to be a way to get Enderman. So what are we missing next? So I'm guessing one of these portals must take us somewhere else that's going to contain some really good loot, right? I can't even put stairs on this. Wait, I can't even put torches, right? No, I literally can't place torches. What? Seriously? That's crazy. Let's make sure it's lit up. Yeah. All right, cool. Now the next destination is going to be over to the right side, and that's the Nether Island. Now, if I go to the Nether Island, it might have some pretty good things. So we can either go there or pull windows on my house. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the windows. I want to complete my house, and then the next episode, we can always just simply come back and then do whatever we want. Let's just go ahead and get some water here first. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Rip. You know what? We're just going to go for it. We're going to create a small little path over to this side. Just keep building. Just keep building. Oh, my gosh. We have a long way to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost over there. Let's go. But before we do end up this episode, I actually want to take care of some farming stuff. Because now we do have some farming materials. Now, what do we have here exactly? What What is all this stuff, my guy? Oh, the skeletons. No, not skeletons. And there's creepers on that island. Oh, I forgot. Oh, spicy. Bye-bye. So here we are. This is supposed to be a nether portal, but it's made of stone bricks. So I'm a little bit confused here. We got some fire. We got magma blocks. I don't see anything secret just yet, but there is an underground area over here. So let's go ahead real quick and build down over here. Hold on a second. What do we got over here? It looks like we have one piece of obsidian, two, three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have soul sand. In other words, sugar canes, melons, and pumpkins. Hey, at least we can make a soul sand farm here. Or in other words, boom, that's how it's done. So yes, we do have all of the obsidian here. Now, how exactly... Do we get the obsidian over up top to make the portal? We don't have an iron pickaxe, which by the way, can't even break obsidian. I mean, it can, I think. Can, can iron? I think iron breaks obsidian in like five minutes or something. I don't know what it's called. But diamonds are the only thing that can break obsidian and pick up the blocks. So the issue is, where are we going to get diamonds from? There's no diamonds there. So where do we get diamonds, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to call the video here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. But before we do end it off, I want to go ahead and finish up the crops. But still, do we get diamonds from? What? How are we supposed to beat the game? We got no clue where to get the diamonds from. Dude, I don't get it. So glass is a little bit weird because glass is now circles. I, I'm, I'm being serious. No, it's, it's literally circles. Look. What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> there we go, guys. The first floor is complete with the glass. Yeah, it's it's definitely very, very strange. It doesn't make any sense. But honestly, let's just leave it as it is. Because, you know, it, nothing ever makes sense in Minecraft. We still got to work on the first floor and put the glass there. Um, so we'll leave that to a future episode. We'll probably have to smelt all this glass as well. Look at this. <laughs> How trippy is that? This is, this is, this is so trippy, guys. Now we can plant down 
and pumpkins. I could do a melon and pumpkin setup. That's an option. Sugar canes is definitely a must. So we'll put it down here. All right. Now carrots are going to go here. So we'll use this for the carrot section and the potato section. So carrots, potatoes. I guess we'll do beetroot because, because why not? Yeah, let's, let's do beetroot here. That, that makes a little bit more sense. Now for pumpkin and also sugar canes, we'll use this section here. There we go. So pumpkin and of course melons are going to go here. We also have a bunch of bone meal. So we're going to simply grow them real quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, so our full farm is set up and it looks amazing. Check it out. Ladies and gents, the farming days are over. It is time to call this video. Thanks for watching. Always keep it 100. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one, Moose Army. Let's get 5,000 likes for another episode. Woo!